today uh, we are going to discuss about LDS lightning data services okay so LDS means lightning data services which will gives us ability to or LDS can be used to manage the data such as insert update okay and create uh, delete without writing any apex and also it provides us security uh, such as data level security p level security also okay so generally LDS lightning data services will be used to manage the data means either to insert means create the data update the delete the data without writing any apex and also it provides us a data level security and object level security field level security also means if you wanted to create a data anytime so right now if you see uh, our application, we are using a component here to create a lightning uh, sorry application loan application if I go here so we are using here apply for loan so we are providing all the details over here right so let's say some of the information is confidential or, or let's first talk about the first point which is without writing any apex without writing any apex if you wanted to create data we can utilize LDS and also if you wanted to provide a sometimes security for the different users there will be a single component but that component fields has to display based on the logged in user so right now this form will displays all the fields to everybody and we are writing backend uh, logic for this apex uh, logic we have written uh, if I open this this one loan application form for this if you see we have written a apex logic also this is apex class right so this is apex class we have written a class here to create the data in a backend by using a dml statement okay so let's say if you don't want to do this you don't want to utilize apex you wanted to create without writing any apex code as well uh, why do we go for apex code means if you wanted to write your own logic for example here you wanted to associate another object here loan applications once a customer is created you wanted to create a loan application also so that's why we have written here uh, apex class but generally only loan application if you want only single object data if you want and then you don't want to write this apex class yes then we can do with the lightning data services the similar kind of form we can create there but there is no much uh, apex code logic is required there is no no not at all coding is required if you want to deal with a single record or single object record okay so for that what we are going to use today lightning data services to create the data so you might got doubt now like we are using apex also you are saying now without apex also we are writing so why did you write then apex here why don't we write only LDS means in this scenario if you observe here we wanted to create a two objects data our second object data based on this customer is created then we would like to create insert uh, this loan application also two objects data you can do with this apex class but not in the lightning data services so to understand lightning data services first go to here lightning data services or you can search in the component reference itself 
ایٹا سر لائٹننگ ریکارڈ فارم یو سی ہیر انڈر لائٹننگ ویب کمپوننٹس ایف یو سی جس ٹائپ ریکارڈ جس پوٹ ای لائٹننگ ریکارڈ فارم جس لائٹننگ ریکارڈ فارم یو سی دیس تری کا فاس تری belongs to lightning data services uh, lightning data services will have a three forms like this a record view form okay a record edit form okay just record uh, form will be there okay these three tags will be there these three tags will be used to either to create the data either to view the data or both the purpose and delete also for these three purposes you can utilize this lightning data i mean uh, combining all these uh, they will ask generally uh, like how many forms are available in the data services means these three forms will be there okay so which will contains <coughs> which will contains ability or which will gives us ability to view the data edit the data or record form means it will create the data also <coughs> okay so let us see this view uh, record form okay click on this record form it will gives us a syntax click on this record form so uh, this record form uh, you can see here for uh, basically I just come down they say that uh, what are the objects are supported what are the modes are available in this one how to specify the object ap names and fields and all okay so basically uh, let's go directly to this example uh, to create the records so creating the records so you can create the records using this form this is one of the lightning data services form okay these three are belongs to lightning data services means if i go to uh, it may not show here i guess uh, lightning data services yeah so if you observe here lightning record form implements lightning data service and doesn't require additional apex controllers to create edit records and data it it also takes care the fee level security setting for you and users see only the data that is available yeah however so basically uh, this lightning data services provides ability to create and edit the records okay and also provides a fee level and a object level security also and setting settings also for the logged in user okay in which different forms are available like this is for the creating okay and in the above examples they have given how to edit the record and how to view the record as well i think the deletion is not possible let's see delete yeah, deletion is not possible just to edit the record okay and update the record okay we can utilize this and view the record as well three purposes okay now let us go with the creating to create the records we should specify this uh, this record form okay this lightning record form is basically a tag a lightning record form is a tag that will have these three attributes okay so we can write it from here as well i'm going to write a new component now to to demonstrate this one create loan what loan you can specify we have a in, in our object we have a top up loans okay let's say top up loan create new field see you can have top up loan uh, a existing loan application you can select and then existing customer you can select and then amount also you can enter okay so let's say 
uh, we have two more fields on this object one uh, in the in this object let's say edit object go to object and create three more fields you would like to create a top up loans for a particular uh, loan application you don't want to write apex for this okay you can utilize lds okay for that purpose first i'm creating a fields actually two more fields how much a top up loan amount is required and all So I am going to I am going to create a number field. With that top up loan amount. Click next. Next, and save it. This is amount. Okay, and let's say uh, top of loan status is a let's say pick list we wanted to have a pick list um approved submitted approved and rejected okay so let's say these three statuses are available so i wanted to make it available only for a certain users not for all the profiles let's say this is a little bit secured field okay so this field um, says that uh, only for loan processing agents it should be available and managers and system administrators so we can choose our profiles here loan processor officer should not see this only for the manager profile it should be available okay and only for only for system administrators let's say this should be available for administrators this field and it should be available for managers okay not for the loan processing officer loan processing officer can create a lo top up loans you should not set the status field okay similarly i wanted to create a one more field which is a approved amount okay so let's create a one more number field approved uh, are eligible loan uh, let's say approved loan amount is a field so now uh, we could have edited this loan approved loan amount can be visible to managers also again let's say for managers only so I wanted to make it visible only for the manager profile not even for a system administrator save this so as a admin if i'm trying to create a loan up uh, top up loans okay as admin if i'm trying to create a loan i should see three fields three to four fields but not a field that is just now created let's uh, create a new field a new record and see yeah, you see now a loan status system administrator can see top up loans can see a top up loan amount can see but how much is approved he cannot see okay 
Similarly, this loan status field cannot visible to the loan processor profile users. Now, what I mean to say is, there are multiple fields on the object. Some of the fields can be visible to some of the users only, are profiles only, but not for all. Okay, manager can see all the fields right now, but not all the users. System administrator cannot see one of the field, and uh, loan processor cannot see two of the fields, but he can see only I think four fields, two, uh, three fields. Okay, so now if you want to create this top of loans using light uh, this generally a lightning component general component we we built last time just like this component um, where is that so generally in the home page apply for loan is available right so this apply for loan we are creating enter name phone number all details are taken by the uh, customer and then creating submitting in a backend okay similar kind of thing i wanted to build now but how can you ensure it applies sharing uh, this setting so like security settings so one of the field has to visible the only particular user so how can you make sure that right now if you open this form generally it is going to visible for everybody in this in this example you cannot uh, if, for example if you go here so here if you see this here loan application you cannot set this field to visible lightning input to particular manager you cannot uh, set here profile dot name or something you cannot have option here okay this is a customized lightning component of course it uses a, a controller also which is apex class you cannot uh, control here by default but use such in the scenarios also are generally in our uh, new requirement which is create a loan top up loan in this scenario also you have multiple fields some of the fields you you wanted to make it visible based on the security only means better to go with lightning message uh, sorry lightning data services so you can easily do it without writing any effects so you might ask question here can't we do this with a normal without lightning message services with normal like this the lightning inputs cannot we put lightning inputs and then provide the security means yes but that involves more secure uh, more coding we need to write a more apex coding in the apex level we need to check whether his this user is having access or not and all so that will be more you know um, lines of code will be involved instead of that simply create a lightning component a web a lightning web component lwc with lds lightning data services i'm going to write a new component today create top up loan okay is a component name so let's uh, use this component to create a top up loans and see how this will be useful okay i'm using here flow also okay today i'm going to utilize this in the flows as well or I may utilize this in the record page as well okay as a quick action as well <clears throat> multiple things I am enabling earlier we were enabling for three okay or a four I am enabling for flow screen and record quick action also click on apply I am going to create a a new component I mean this is a new component now okay create top up loan is a component so here i would like to utilize like the, uh, this lightning data services okay uh, so for that purpose i will utilize record form record form is used to create the records okay similarly we have record uh, view form and edit form uh, let me left side if you see here record view form and record edit form these two also belongs to lightning data services these three tags in the lwc also belongs to lightning data services this is just to view it won't able to create the data this is to just to edit not to create a records okay so that's why i'm using this lightning form this has ability to create the data as well 
similarly view also you can do it with a single form you can do all the things now I am going to utilize here lightning uh, um, record form It's not showing in the list. Uh, however, I can utilize the same. So in the in the editor, it is not showing. But once we maybe uh, do it with the Visual Studio Code, it will show. But here it is not showing. Okay. Um, however, let's uh, copy paste the same syntax over here. Okay. So this is Lightning Record Form. So in this, you need to specify, okay, the object API name means which object data you wanted to create here. Is it account, contact, or what object data you would like to create, you need to specify. You don't need to have a, a separate variable also. You can directly mention here the object name. Is it account object? Is it a contact object like that? okay so to do that uh, let me go to this object api name and then copy paste the ob object api name over here okay this is object api name okay and then you need to specify the fields but fields you it's not a direct way to copy paste so there is a syntax for this as well okay you cannot directly utilize like this we need to have like this basically okay all the fields should be included like this means we need to import to first the field definition what are the fields you want to utilize you need to specify in your lightning component web component javascript here okay so here you need to specify all the fields that you wanted to have with the object name okay so here our object name is this one dot field name dot field name okay we want the fields like this who is the customer field similar to this I want three to four fields all the fields are I would like to insert okay so I want loan application number existing loan top up loan means it, it should be based on existing loan right so that's why loan application existing loan application and what is the loan amount and what is the status and what is the approved loan amount? So let's say I don't want, uh, yeah. So let's put these four fields for now. So we can have a different names over here, okay? Uh, different field names. <laughs> these are reference variable names. Customer loan application. Loan amount, approved amount. Okay, these few four fields you need to specify here as a, as a to any variable. That variable you can utilize over here. So here the name is same as fields is equals to. It should be more than one field. That's why it should be array. This is called array. If you wanted to store more than one field, uh, any more than one value then you need to declare this as an array like this 
so for example age can be stored like this 20 okay and uh, amount can be stored as like this but what if we wanted to store these two as a one type then you can mention here something called okay data for example here you can specify age and then amount both will be stored under one variable these two values now it contains <coughs> 20 and 30 both the values okay so this is called array okay so multiple fields you wanted to specify so you can utilize one variable with the array this is array this is variable <coughs> you can specify anything here loan type of loan fields you can specify like this and then put all the fields like this <coughs> like this okay all the fields and utilize this uh, property this is a property now just like earlier we were declaring age amount like this this is a property right for this we can assign the values like this also 20 30 like that or you can utilize further this property can be utilized in the next lines of code so similarly this is also a property but its values directly assigned at the time of uh, creation only okay now <clears throat> here this is a property and with uh, which will have all the values at the time of initialization okay these fields you can utilize in this lightning data service tag which is having record form object name is available field name is available and you wanted to do something on success means this will gives you generally a form automatically that will have the fields we mentioned here automatically it will have here if you would like to now have some message on time at the time of success then you can utilize this message on success otherwise it, it's not required for now just deploy this and see how it looks like apply this um, type a subject field IAP customer is not available okay so basically uh, this will have uh, this is I looks like it's not supported last time also we got this issue I will try try to do this with the VS code okay I'll deploy this simply empty component I'm deploying <clears throat> let me comment this code this code is not there let's assume that this code is not there now this is empty component I'm just deploying this and then I'll do this with the same thing line number six JavaScript line number six apply this right now the code is not there assume because it's commented out now uh, because it's not identifying what is this object what is this field it's not identifying I guess from the lightning LWC editor do with the VS code okay so go to VS code and go to now we now our component is created already we wanted to modify that okay how to modify I have to retrieve. Yes, I need to retrieve. So, how can I retrieve that component name? It's not present here, right? New Clicking on metadata and uh, retrieve from source. Yes, Arc. Awesome. So, go to metadata, which is a manifest file, which is package.xml. So, here, yes. right click and retrieve. So, it's having lightning component bundle, which is actually LWC. Okay. It, if this is having uh, the name of this uh, this particular metadata type is having here when I right click and uh, retrieve it retrieves all the LWC components which are present in uh, arg to VS code as of now in VS code there are four or five components already available which will fetch the uh, when I right click and retrieve it will fetch all the latest 
uh, LWC code that he has written. For example, this age validator is there, calculator is there. I have written in my VS code five days ago. Meanwhile, someone has created a new component or they might have modified the component. If you wanted to fetch that details, go to manifest file here in the manifest file package.xml right click and retrieve so that it fetches the all the LWC components here. So right now our top up loan component is not available that may fetch here. See now create top uh, top up loan should be top up but create top loan okay you see this we created in the LWC editor that is deployed to Salesforce org whatever available in the Salesforce I am fetching it here okay we can close this now and close this terminal and then double click here so whatever we have written a code was not supported there so you can uncomment over here and see if that code is working fine or not here okay I'm going to uncomment those lines of code in the VS code and I'll try the same same code same piece of code here and there uh, maybe that is not identifying I guess it should be identified because it's a object name mm. deploy having it's having some issue <coughs> so I am going to use it as a property and see uh, I think that's not an issue. There is some problem in the deploy uh, this uh, project. It's unable to deploying this file also. Deploy. Uh, there is a problem here. Package directories value. Add this location to your package directories value or deploy retrieve different files for or a directory for details sfdx so it shows something uh, it's uh, here not only this one I think earlier a uh, lightning message service also it's unable to deploy this location to your package directories Okay, so uh, what it says is uh, we need to add directory. Um, um, I have not seen this error earlier, but uh, let me try. So it says that uh, the directory that where we are deploying is not identifiable. So what I will do, uh, I'll go to the place where I have created this comp uh, f uh, project earlier. So in this project, 
so I have the sports app LWC sports app default draw so they have given an example over here okay so let me try this way uh, I am creating this drop-up loan uh, let me take this but how can I add more than one part okay so like this let us add this path and see So as one more, uh, it should be comma. Yes, comma. I can add one more like this, and here double quotes path is comma slash this one. Let's see. And see this. So I have mentioned this in the SFDX uh, project JSON so which will have a looks like a path uh, description uh, like where it is going to identify by the project let me try this and see if it is not working then we may need to create a project and then try again Okay, what I will do, I'll create a one new project. I'll create this in the documents in this project. Uh, so here. create so it will create under this uh, directory or under this folders a new project is going to create so now uh, we need to authorize this one so control shift P uh, it's not yet coming So it will take some time. I guess uh, there will be uh, some file missing or extra file is added. So it uh, may be some problem occurred. So it's not identifying any uh, uh, deployment uh, deploying component. Not only uh, this one, Lightning Message Service also failed. So let's verify this by creating a, a new uh, uh, project. Control Shift P. So it should come authorize command. Once authorize command is coming, we can authorize and then write, try to retrieve the existing components and deploy it again and see. Mm. Authorize an arg. login.salesforce.com pch29 uh, let's say arg it will open our salesforce arg and then it will ask for the credentials so if it is success then it will log in uh, it's logged in it 
it is still rendering still running yeah it is successful now so as it is successful we can go to manifest file and then right click on this and retrieve right now this is empty project we are connected with the Salesforce there is no LWC components but our code is available in the arg already available in our arg but we can retrieve that okay right click and retrieve <coughs> So it retrieves all the LWC component, not only LWC classes and ARA components and all. So let's verify uh, this top up loans is going to deploy or not. So I will remove this and see what issue it is having. Now this component is there so I'm going to deploy this deploy this source to arc now see it is deployed I guess there was a problem in that project directory so that's why it was not deployed I created a new project and then authenticated same it is deployed okay now I have a component with the uh, fields here and I have a lightning message service tag which is a record form lightning hyphen record form which is a record form actually and which will have a fields and then object name so I can utilize this in multiple places where means record page application page home page tabs record quick actions and then as well as flow screens so we have already know how to use in the home page how to use in the application page let's see today record page okay so record page means you can click on any any record for example loan application this is a standard object uh, sorry custom object which will have generally screen like this right this is a screen this is a record detail page you wanted to modify this page and add our custom component just like related just like a detail you wanted to have top up loan create top up loan click on that it should give us a tab or you wanted to drag and drop right side to create the data for that purpose you can modify this page this is called a record detail page or a record page you can modify this record page edit page you can modify and then you can remove the some of the uh, you know related list or you can add the related list and you can add the tabs and you can add your custom components or you can create a particular uh, you know uh, any component or tables anything you can drag and drop over here so edit this it will open in a lightning app builder it will come in a editable mode and you can drag and drop our component right side see you can drag and drop anywhere like in the details or related list or in the top or bottom anywhere you can drag and drop I'm just doing it in the left side of the page so here in the left side of the page I'm dragged and drop okay click on save okay just go back now uh, yeah so as uh, I did not activate it it may not show here it will be created in a backend so I did not create it I just clicked on back uh, button so generally go to uh, setup or go to app builder you can find out uh, a new record page might have created you can edit that okay go to setup and write app builder here open app builder so we have already created a home page right that also listed out here you see here this is a, a application page we created last time as a tab here country and Google map 
okay this is an application page we have dragged and dropped right side one component and left side one component this is a home page this page is also available here <coughs> should uh, see here IAB home page okay this is also an application page now we created a record page today by editing this uh, record page so here uh, loans IAB loans I clicked on here edit this page edit this uh, page and it's coming in editable mode right so now <clears throat> I did not activate it but it created a backend so the name of this page is this one you can edit this now and activate so you go here yeah also you can edit both at the same in the lightning app builder I'm editing this so you can activate this it is saved but it is not activated activate save this and activate it's coming it's slow now you can choose whenever you activate whether you want to make it is available for entire arc or per application or per a, a particular record types and profiles let's make this as a application default for our application I wanted to make this as a default one for in the scene application click next and then save it if you want this to be available only for a particular profiles this custom component has to visible only for let's say system administrators then you can choose this option last option select a particular application click next select a particular record type and select a particular profile only for that profile users it's going to visible okay for now it's going to visible for everybody okay for that application not for the sales application not for any other application in this application in the Sind bank if you open this loan applications then only it is going to be visible so refresh or open any any component any record this is a record detail page in this record detail page you will see in the right side uh, it should display Yeah, now you see it's a uh, displaying uh, name we can choose a customer name and loan application uh, and tap up loan amount something 30,000 and then save it it creates a new record on this top up loan object okay but you see for this effort did we write much code did we write apex to insert the data in a backend nothing we did not created any apex class for this there is no apex class in this okay if you see just a fields and then object I have mentioned object name and then fields this on success is also not required okay however we can include this in the lightning card so that background can be white lightning card I can utilize okay so however now you see did we write any backend insert logic uh, last time we had written a uh, controller right and then we have performed insert operation here it's not required we wanted to just uh, create a record on the object there is no backend logic or not much and also it provides a security as well okay so we will see now how to create the record whether it is going to create a record or not first and see how, what is the security we are talking about okay let's save this refresh and save this again refresh uh, it's, I think we have not deployed this deploy we are just white background we will get So refresh over here and you may see a background as a white background for the loan application uh, This is lightning card, okay, it will come
okay it may come but let's focus on the functionality not for the back end so now let's say I wanted to select a particular customer and I wanted to select the same loan application loan application number 001 and the loan amount 30,000 I want okay save it <clears throat> when I save this it's going to create a new record okay uh, some issue okay some issues is occurring but uh, I think because uh, we we did not write a handler on success handler means <coughs> So here if you see I am writing on success this function a uh, handler I am writing but there is nothing in the JavaScript to handle this there is no function that's why it's on saving it's trying to fire this function but it is not there that's why the error has been occurred we can just write and then leave it like this okay save it now deploy this again now what will happen a new record is creating and automatically coming is an editable mode as well now you refresh try to create a new record again okay so now <clears throat> you go to relate a list and you can see how many top up loans are available right now one is available I can go here and create a one more so for the same uh, different customer uh, for the same customer and same loan application 001 I wanted to have one more top up loan with the 50,000 and then save it okay I think it's not yet refreshed once it refreshed it won't come this because we have added a handler over here so this was not there earlier in this uh, function so it will come definitely uh, just I think refresh matter think it's not a refresh record is created here two loans but it will come no problem um, it will apply why it is not applying immediately <coughs> refresh yeah now you see background color is coming now it will not give you an error because uh, it's we have handled the function I want 70,000 now okay and then save it okay it's saved and it's automatically showing the details over here you go to related list also you can see that information three records are created okay so like this we did not uh, you know you did not write much code there is no apex also okay and this will provide you security also what do you mean by security now where are we seeing this security means I am doing this operation as a system administrator if my profile doesn't have this access for example if I go to my profile my profile is a system administrator if I don't have access I cannot I mean this same component if I am accessing and and let's say manager is accessing and loan processor uh, loan processor is also accessing or let me go to different profiles and different users go to users try to log in with a new user uh, different user who doesn't have access right now I'm a system administrator I'm having access let's see if loan processor is having access or not See, loan processor officer here Mahesh is loan processor officer okay <clears throat> let me go to his profile and try to log in over here as Mahesh Mahesh is going to log in here okay so let me log in as him Okay, first of all, let's modify his profile and see his profile. Uh, I think internet is slow. <clears throat> you can hear me, right? Yes, sir. Slow, I guess. <clears throat> I 
I'm trying as a log uh, Mahesh now. Let's verify what what access he's having uh, for the object Mahesh. So let me go to his profile. I be loan processor officer profile, and I'm going to object settings and see whether he's having access for this top up loan object or not. Top up loans he doesn't have access if you see here his profile doesn't have access that means he should not able to create this uh, record okay and let me see a loan application object he's having access or not loan applications he's having um, okay however so let me log in with user Mahesh okay and then try to see if he is able to create a top up loan or not <coughs> so as i'm logging in incognite window he will get a verification code so he's trying to log in now he's going to open this uh, loan applications just uh, just like this he can see the loan applications but he will not see this form right side whatever we created a custom component that is built with the lightning data services with the lightning record form so he cannot be able to see that form at all open any loan application object loan application here loan applications <coughs> I think he don't have access let's click on all yeah so let's say he's opening this loan 0011 you see here in the related let's see it in the related list irrelated list also you cannot able to see any loan applications you see here you don't have access to this record ask your administrator to help this we did not implement it at all this functionality whatever is showing error here we did not implement it but we have used lightning data services that automatically provides a security we were talking about here so first thing is you can create the data similarly we can update and view the data without writing apex this part we have done okay we did not write any apex code here we have written a very less logic to create the records if you compare comparatively do this with the normal uh, form without LDS if you do this you see how many input fields we are using here for if you have five fields five input fields ten fields ten input fields in the loan application also I have three fields basically I, I was displaying three fields three to four fields I need to display our four fields generally if I don't use this if I wanted to write in normal lightning inputs I need to use four fields enter your loan application number enter customer enter loan amount required how much and then save it so and then whenever I save I need to write a related JavaScript in that related JavaScript I need to send as a uh, I need to first capture the values like this and then store it in a property this property values I need to uh, submit to the Apex class in the Apex I'm I, I need to do a DML operation if I don't use LDS this is a procedure and this doesn't have a security it won't check for the object settings even though user doesn't have access they can able to save the data because it's Apex it, Apex runs in a system mode it won't check for any access it automatically creates a data but now this checks the settings and if we did not write any lightning inputs over here it's a less code and it provides a security as well okay now as Mahesh is logged in he don't have access here for the object it shows that he don't have access if I logged in the same form same component is going to display for me a form to enter the data okay if I go back to any record all the record any record if you open I can see this uh, because I am having access to create the data you uh, another user loan processor doesn't have if I provide access to him he can able to do that but right now you don't have access okay like this we can achieve uh, uh, access basically it can be object level access field also whatever the fields he is having access uh, for example I don't have access to this field means I cannot see this only two fields you see now in a backend there are four fields in the object okay but I'm seeing only three fields over here 
one field I don't have access one or two fields if manager logged in he can see four more than two or three fields he can see four or five fields like that we can achieve data level security using LDS lightning data uh, not only data for object also fields also okay and then save it okay so to make a differentiate what is LDS and what is normal uh, data creation you create a similar form and try to insert the data as a user okay he can able to see the one form which is lightning inputs form you can see two 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 things you can drag and drop here one is with the lightning data services and the one with the without lightning data services normal lightning inputs create a customer uh, enter a select select a customer select a application enter amount then save it it he can able to see the fields and save the data into the backend here in this case he cannot be able to because it's a lightning data services okay so like this we can utilize data services to create the data similarly to modify the data also we can utilize data services okay for that purpose we need to have edit form so you try this if you are still facing issue then we'll discuss in one more session right now we discussed about lightning data services okay tomorrow i'll come up with this uh, lightning message channel i think that was a deployment issue only i will try to create a new uh, lightning message services and deploy if it is working we will do it tomorrow the same session okay i will i will talk about lms tomorrow okay uh, that's all for today let me know if you have any questions